What? What, what, what? What the hell is this? Harumph, 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 harumph. I didn't get a harumph out of that guy. Give the governor harumph. Harumph. You watch your ass. I see you shiver with anticipation. Let the show begin. Hey everybody, this is David Heretic coming at you with another edition of Reactions, Reviews, and Rants. And tonight! Tonight! Alright, we're coming back to... You. Are you ready? I, I got it right. I think I got it right now. We're coming back to Liliac. Yes, indeed. Liliac fans, feeling you! Come on now! Here we go. This is a request from Steve Bondison. Uh, Steve wanted to watch me react to this song. It is Liliac doing a cover of the Metallica song, Enter Sandman. Okay. Um, have I heard this before? Well, I've heard the original before. I've heard the original so many times that I'm sick of it. I hate that song. <laughs> That's the truth! Yo, know, look, don't get me wrong. The first time I heard Enter Sandman, I loved it. I thought it was a great song. Uh, the tenth time I heard it, I thought it was a great song. The two hundredth time I heard it, I still thought it was a great song. By the time I got to about 354, uh, I was like, okay, this is getting old. Um, what else, you know? And then by the time I got to about the five hundredth time I'd heard it, I was like, okay, I'm over it. I don't want to hear this song anymore. And then by the time I got to about the eight hundredth time I'd heard it, I was like, I'm over this. I'm done. I don't want to hear this song anymore. So, do I like this song? No, I, I don't. I'm not a fan of this song in any way, shape, or form. Um, I'm in a band right now, and they want to cover this, and I, 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 don't, I don't want to. <laughs> they want me to sing it, too. They want, they want me to sing it and play bass on it, and I'm like, no, I, I really don't want to do this. Uh, unfortunately, I'm being outvoted, <laughs> and our band is very democratic, so uh, if they want me to do it, I'll do it, but I'm not thrilled about it. I really don't. I hate this song. If I'm, if I can be perfectly honest with you guys, I hate this song. I really do. And like I said, it's not because the song is bad. It's just because I'm so sick and tired of it. So, you know, automatically going into this, I, I'm gonna try to keep an open mind, man. I'm gonna give it a shot. Uh, I'm gonna give Liliac a fair shake at this, and I'm gonna say, listen, I understand it's a popular song. I understand. So let's see how good they do on it. Let's see if they make it their own. Let's see if they put their own little spin on it. Let's see how good they are doing this, okay? So we're I'm gonna go into this with an open mind, I promise, okay? I promise I will do the best job I can to keep an open mind on this song, okay? There you go. Um, I hope I'm pronouncing the name right now, Liliac. I hope I'm pronouncing it right. Um, We'll see. I'm sure I'll get it in the comments whether I am or not. Last time, I now in all fairness, okay. Now look, in all fairness, uh, the last video I did for Liliac, I or Liliac, I didn't see the second I. I all I saw was L I L A C. So I thought it was Lilac. I, I just swear to God, I did not see the I after the second L. I swear to you, I didn't. So that's why I was calling them Lilac. Now that I clearly see it's L-I-L-I-A-C, I, I would never call that Lilac, ever. Never in a million years. So it's obviously, you know, L-I-L-I-A-C. So Liliac, I hope I'm pronouncing it right. I guess we'll find out in the comments. Cause boy, last time when I was calling it Lilac, ho oh, ho, Nelly! Did you guys ever let me know that I was saying it wrong? <laughs> And I got different degrees. I got the, for the most part, for the most part, people were nice and people were understanding. I had a few douchebags who were like, you know, well, if you don't know how to say it, then you shouldn't be saying it at all. And, you know, stuff like that. So, you know, they were very quickly blocked. Block! Block! Yeah, I, I had to block them because they were being utter and complete douchebags. Um, so, yeah, I... I, they were very insulting to me, so I just said, you know what, I don't need to deal with you. <laughs> You're gone. So, yeah, there you go. Uh, then we say, let's get to this. Uh, the video has 8.1 million views. It'll get you there. And it was originally posted by Liliac, so it's on their official channel. Uh, they didn't block last time, so I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Uh, so far, so good with them. 
Uh, other than that, there's nothing else left to say. Link to the original video will be down below in the description for your viewing pleasure at your leisure. Let's get started. What do you say? Are you ready? Are you ready? Because here we go. All right, here we go. Enter Sandman, Liliac. Official cover music video. Still, it makes me nervous. I, I know they're probably not going to block me, but I, I still, I'm a little nervous. Every time I see the word official, I can't help it. I'm sorry. All right, let's do this. All right, boy, let's do this. this is a music video i get it i understand i understand but but look at the showmanship look at the showmanship from these three in the middle thank you head banging hair tossing moving around leg up moving around this guy Look at that stance. That's what I'm talking about. Showmanship. Uh, I want to help these kids so badly. <laughs> okay, this kid, he's leaning forward a little bit. There's only so much you can do with the keyboard. I get it. You can do stuff, though. You can. Um, he's leaning over the keyboard. That's okay. That's a start. Oh, come on, man. I want I want to like you, kid. Come on, really. Come on. Get into it, please. I don't know. We'll see. Hopefully, he gets into it. Hopefully, we'll see some showmanship from him. I know it's a music video. I get it. It's an official music video. They're not actually playing. We're, we're not here. Let me rephrase. We're not hearing live. They are probably playing live to themselves for the purpose of filming, but the audio we are hearing is pre-recorded, so it's all post. I get that. I understand that, but still play to the camera nonetheless, as if you were in front of 50,000 people. That's good. I love these three in the middle. I love these three in the middle. These two on the end, man, come on, I'm rooting for you. I, you have no idea how hard I am rooting for you two to shoot me some showmanship, please. Anyway, let's keep going. <laughs> Okay, two things there that stuck out. I love whoever's doing the pinch harmonics. I think it's the kid on stage right. Um, great pinch harmonics. Great pinch harmonics. See, already there's a little difference. I like it. I like it when bands take these liberties and they make the cover their own. I love that. And uh, lead singer coming in with that vocal line right there. That was nice. Really nice, good setup.
I can't believe I'm going to say this. I never thought I would ever say this in a million years. I'm liking this. I, I'm I'm actually liking this. And I, like I said, I can't stand this song. I hate this song. But I'm liking this version of it. It's different. It's, it's just different enough to make me kind of forget about what Metallica has done. And I'm really kind of focused on what they're doing with it, which I'm absolutely loving. Um, I, I can't explain it. I can't explain this at all. I, I'm very pleasantly surprised. Very pleasantly surprised that I'm enjoying this as much as I am. I'm a little, to be perfectly honest with you, I'm a little shocked that I'm enjoying this as much as I am. Um, so far, so good. Uh, the three in the middle, man, their showmanship is on point. They don't need any help whatsoever. Um, I see glimpses from the other two. The two on the end, stage right and stage left. I see little glimpses here and there. The guitar player on stage right, he's doing some great facial expressions. Uh, God, I wish I could work with these kids. Seriously, just give me three hours with them. That's all I need. One day, three hours, I'll have these kids. Their showmanship will go through the roof, I promise you. Because here's what I'm suspecting with these two. I suspect they want to. I suspect they want want to be showmanship. I, I suspect they do, but one of two things. They don't know how, which is very possible, but more than likely, and what I suspect is really the case, they're kind of scared to. They're a little afraid to. And I can help with that. I can help with either one. I can help with either one. Uh, the second one will be a little more challenging to overcome because we're talking about overcoming a fear, but as opposed to just not knowing what to do. But either way, I could definitely help. So, I'm going to offer up my services again. So, Liliak, if you're watching, please contact me. <laughs> Let's work something out. I'm not kidding. I will do it for free. I will come down to you guys. I will be more than happy to volunteer my time. I will help you guys. I promise I can help you guys out. Um, oh, my God. Anyway, uh, let's keep going here. But I'm going to get Charles so anyway. Let's go back a little bit. No, 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 I don't care. Hey, look, wait a minute. <laughs> Am I playing tricks on me, or did I see this keyboardist put his hands up in the air, one hand up in the air, and pump his fist? Did I really see that? Did I? Why is there always one key broken on the keyboard? It seems like every time I play with a keyboard player, there's always like one key that's always broken. Looks like it's his A key. Let's see if I'm right about this. Did I really see this? Come on, kid. You're right. Hey! I was right! Stop! Give that kid a round of applause! Yes! It is possible! to be a keyboard player and have showmanship. He just did it right there. Yes, it is possible. That's the truth. I loved it. I want to see more of that. That was fantastic. Does he do that live? <laughs> I know it looks, I know it's a music video. I get it. But I still, I love seeing that. I know it's in a controlled environment. I, I get it. But look, it's still cool to see a keyboard player that actually 
you know, is a, not afraid to take his hands off the keyboard. Oh my God. <laughs> it's okay. You can take your hand off the keyboard if it's not doing anything. And you can do stuff like that. Or you can point to the crowd. Or you can wave. Or you can do whatever. It's all good. It, it's whatever you can do to add to showmanship. Do it. That was fantastic. Yes. <laughs> Believe it or not, I got... Uh, I'm not going to lie. I <laughs> I teared up a little bit. I'm not going to lie. I did. Because I was so happy to see him put his hand up. Something as simple as that. That was so good. It was so good. All right. Guitar solo time. Let's get into this. Yes. That's really him on the recording. I hope it is. Uh, the keyboard player doing the response. Uh, I hope it is. It's very appropriate. Um, very nicely done there. Great solo. Really great solo. Um, very accurate to the original. I wish he had taken a little more liberties. The thing about solos are, it, with, with guitar players and guitar solos, I like it especially with covers when bands take their own liberties and especially with guitar solos that is a great time to do it unless the solo itself is iconic like uh the solo from uh Leonard Skinner's Freebird okay would I ever want anybody to mess with that solo no no that that solo is iconic it should never be touched you know obviously that if you're going to play that solo you should play it perfectly uh the solo from um, comfortably numb. Should that ever have embellishments? It shouldn't, but it's hard because even, even Gilmore takes embellishments with his own solo. You know what I mean? Like he never plays it the exact same. He'll play, he'll play every part, but even in the every part, there's always little embellishments that he'll put in little differences. So that's very hard. Um, but a song like this, you know, I, I would have liked to have heard uh, the guitar soloist, you know, try to stay true to form, but throw some things in there that are his own. You know what I mean? Um, but he stayed pretty much true to the original solo, which, again, perfectly fine. It's perfectly fine. Um, let's keep going here. Tonight. 
I like the ending. I like the ending. They didn't do the fade out like Metallica did. That went on for freaking like a minute. They just ended it clean. I like that ending. Uh, okay. I get it. Yeah. Yeah. Can't believe I'm gonna say this. I I I enjoyed that. I really enjoyed that. Hard to believe considering how much I hate that song, but I, I really enjoyed that. That was fun. Well, there you go, folks. That was Liliac with their rendition of Metallica's Enter Sandman. This was a request from Steve Bondison. Okay. um, I did not see myself giving this score. If, if I'm being honest with you, I when I heard I was, it was this going to be a Metallica cover of a song that I thoroughly do not like. Um, I never envisioned myself giving this score. On a scale of 1 to 10, I'm going to give that an 8.6. Yep, 8.6. I feel great about that score. Let me tell you why. Why? They did a great job. I mean, I, I can't... I There's no other way to say it. They really did a great job. And like I said, I can't stand the song, but they did a fantastic job. They added some embellishments to kind of give it their own feel, which was nice. All those pinch harmonics, uh, the vocalization style, the different vocalization entrances and pullbacks, really nicely done. Um, it, it was it was nice, it was refreshing. You know what, it, that's what it was. It was refreshing to hear a song that I am extremely familiar with being done just different enough to make you go, oh, oh, well, that's new. You know, it, it's nice. It, it's a breath of fresh air. It's not the same old song rehashed over and over again that we heard on the radio every two hours without fail between the years of 1990 to 1998. I mean, seriously, you heard that. You still hear that song everywhere you go. It still gets radio play, you know? So you, you can't escape it. You're going to hear it no matter what. But it was nice hearing their take on it. Um, everybody did a fine job. Drums locked in. Bass locked in. Guitars, both guitars locked in. Keyboard, up. Uh, couldn't really hear keyboard. I mean, I, guitars were very thick. Now, maybe, maybe the keyboardist was using a guitar patch. Maybe that's why the guitar sounded so thick. Um, but I enjoyed it. Uh, but I couldn't hear a distinct keyboard sound. So, uh, my guess is he was using a distorted guitar patch. And that's why it sounded so thick. Which was fine. It's perfectly fine. It didn't sound muddy. It just sounded thick and it sounded crunchy. I like that. I'm not a big fan when guitars get overly distorted and it gets muddy to the point where you can't differentiate between notes. I'm not a fan of that. Um, vocally, she nailed it out of the park. Uh, I remember from the last time I did Liliac, uh, she wasn't playing bass. She was just being lead vocalist. They got a bass player. Um... I think I like it better that way. I mean, look, she did a great job here. Don't get me wrong, okay? Hold on, hold on. Hold your horses. She looked fine playing the bass, okay? she looked, I, I, I believe, you know, she did a fine job playing the bass. But I could tell she wants to be a front man or a front woman in this case. And when you have a bass holding you down, it, it can be a little tough. It can be a little tricky. Um, so seeing her have the freedom to be able to you know, move her on the stage with just a mic in her hand now... It's a lot nicer. So I, I'm glad they did that move. I'm glad they did that move. But she did a fine job. Now, a couple things to keep in mind. Was this a live performance? No, this was not a live performance. This was a music video, okay? Were they playing live for the sake of the video footage, playing together live for the sake of the video footage? Yeah, they, they probably were, okay? More than likely they were. Um, but what we heard was pre-recorded it was obviously pre-recorded there were so many times 
her mouth would move away from the mic, but her vocal, the vocal line that we were hearing was still strong and coming through clean. Like there was no change whatsoever. That's impossible, okay? When your mouth moves, like here's the mic, when your mouth moves this far away from the mic, there's no way. <laughs> there's no way you're gonna hear that clean and clear with no drop in vocals. So obviously this was, you know, all post-editing, they added in the audio pre-recorded. Having said that though, uh, it was fun to watch. It was fun to watch, especially the three in the middle. Boy, they know how to put on a show. They know how to play to the cameras. The other two on stage left and stage right, I saw moments. I saw glimmers of brilliance. And I, could, I get the feeling they want to. They want to become showmen, but they don't know how or they're scared to. So again, I'm gonna reiterate this one last time. Liliac, if you are watching, I am dead serious. I will work with you guys for free. I see the potential and I would love to help you overcome those barriers and help you guys with your showmanship and develop. So contact me if you guys do want my help. I would be more than happy to give it to you guys and I will do it absolutely free of charge without question. Um, no, but they took a song that I cannot stand. They made it sound really good. Um, they made it sound great, actually, to be honest with you. They did a great job. They really did. I I got to be honest with you. I was trying to go into this with an open mind, and I, I just I, I did the best I could. And I just I felt as soon as I heard that that opening riff, that doom, -ba -da -da -da, the minute I heard that, I was like, oh, God. <laughs> That's the truth. Oh, this is going to be a long five minutes. But no, actually, they put enough embellishments in there, enough of their own flavor in there, that it sounded really good. And I, I actually enjoyed this. And that's why they're getting the great score of an 8.6. So, 8.6, final score, I have spoken. Well, that's going to do it for this edition of Reactions, Reviews, and Rants. Hope you all enjoyed the show. Hopefully, I was able to entertain you. If I was able to put a smile on your face and brighten your day, I did my job. And I'm so glad I could do it. If you did enjoy the show and you would like to see more videos like this, feel free to join the fan base by clicking on that button down there. Yeah, you know the button I'm talking about. Click on that button, join the fan base to become one of us. Now, for whatever reason, if you don't feel like clicking on that button, that's okay. I still respect you. Also, if you did enjoy the video, please feel free to give the video a thumbs up. It'll do me a world of good and will do you absolutely no harm whatsoever. Finally, if you guys do join the fan base, you will find a bell down there that you can click on. By clicking on that bell, it'll keep you up to date on everything happening with this channel, including when new content gets dropped. So, if you want to stay in the know, click on the bell and you'll stay in the know. Well, that's going to do it for the night, folks. Until next time, this is David Heretic signing off, reminding you to stay fabulous and support each other. Later, peace.